best budget laptops 2022. So today's video is going to be about best budget laptops. Come on guys, let's get into the video. Number one, Asus E410. The Asus E410 I tested comes equipped with a Intel Celeron N4020 dual core processor, paired with four gigabytes RAM, 64 gigabytes worth of storage, and integrated Intel UHD 600 graphics. However, you can also purchase this device with an Intel Pentium Silver N5030 processor, Intel UHD graphics, 605 and 128 gigabytes of storage. As this is a bare bones laptop, it's only really suitable for basic tasks such as web browsing, emails, watching videos, and very light image editing. So, with so little storage on my model, there isn't much space to install software or games. It's a good option for students at university or anyone who mostly uses web apps. Looking at benchmarks, you can see the laptop doesn't perform well even compared to other budget rivals. There wasn't even enough space to install 3D Mark with all the pre-installed software on the device. However, I found that day-to-day -day performance is fast and responsive. Whether it will stand the test of time is another story. Number two, Acer Chromebook Spin 713. The Acer Chromebook Spin 713 takes all the best design features of its popular Spin series of Windows laptops, marries them to a lightweight Chromebook, and then ramps up the power and performance to achieve Intel Evo certification for a Chromebook. While some might consider this overkill, the Chromebook Spin 713 puts all that extra horsepower to good use, making it a highly portable workhorse for work, school, or travel, and among the best Chromebooks today. Available now in the US, UK, and Australia, the Chromebook Spin 713 sells for $699 US, £599, pounds, and about $980 Australian. Acer's Australian Chromebook Spin 713 page shows the device as available in the region, but not actual models were on sale on the Australian site, so your pricing may vary between retailers. For the laptop itself, starting with the solid build quality, Acer did not cheap out on the Chromebook Spin 713. It built the device into an aluminum chasis with sturdy but flexible hinges, a comfortable keyboard deck and trackpad, and a beautiful 3x2 2256 by 1504p touchscreen display. Number 3. Microsoft Surface Laptop Go Windows Notebook that targets the budget to mid-range segment, while Surface devices like the Surface Pro line have traditionally been super high-end laptops and tablets aimed at providing the best Windows 10 experience. This more recent attempt is designed specifically for students and everyday users who might not have the budget to splurge on a high-priced device. It's a successful one at that. At the entry level, the Surface Laptop Go gets you an Intel Core i5 processor, 8GB of RAM, and a 256GB SSD, alongside a gorgeous display and excellent build quality for a low asking price and it's far better than any other laptop you're going to find at this price range. Even at its kitted out configuration, it remains unbelievably affordable. The absolute top end version, which we tested here, retails at 899 US dollars, 899 pounds, and 1,549 Australian dollars. We'd consider a bargain for the specs listed on the right especially since most other laptops in this size, class, and price range are going to be Chromebooks, which are way more restrictive in what you can do than the laptop goes Windows 10 in S mode. Bonus? You can easily switch out of that mode these days, and the hardware on offer is more than capable of being a fully functioning Windows 10 computer. Number four, Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5. The Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5 is one of the mostly available in the country right now. The machine is priced pretty aggressively compared to the competition. If you're looking for a good laptop to get your work done while starting at your home, this might be the perfect one for you. For starters, the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5 is a 2-in-1 laptop which is priced under 60,000 rupees. On the inside, there is powered by Ryzen 5 4500U processor making it one of the few laptops in the segment to sport the chipset. 
the raw CPU performance beats the competition with a fair bit of margin. The chipset impact is also seen on the battery life. The Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5 offers an insane battery life of up to 9 hours consistently and sometimes even further. With this laptop, you can easily get your one day work without having to plug in the charger in the middle. If needed, the fast charging comes in handy. Number 5. Acer Swift 3 It might be a budget machine, but the Acer Swift 3 outperforms other laptops in its price range. Whereas most cheap laptops will provide a barely passable computing experience, the Swift line proves that just because a machine comes with a low price tag doesn't mean it can't be a solid computer as well. However, even the best budget laptops come with more limitations than their more expensive siblings, and the Acer Swift 3 is no exception. It's inherited some of its predecessor's flaws, such as weak sounding, downward facing speakers, but it's improved on its predecessor as well by updating the performance and battery life without adjusting the price. The Swift 3 might not match what we saw in our Dell XPS 13 review, but it will get you fairly close for a fraction of the price. Basically, if you want that Ultrabook form factor for a fantastic value, the Swift 3 is an excellent choice, particularly if you're on a limited budget. It's held onto its place on our best laptop list for a reason. And while it's still available at near its MSRP, it will likely remain there for a while yet. Number 6. HP Pavilion 14 HP has announced the updated Pavilion lineup of laptops in India. These new laptops, including the Pavilion 13, Pavilion 14, and Pavilion 15, are made from post-consumer recycled and ocean-bound plastics, a first for the company. The newly announced laptops from HP come equipped with Intel's latest 11th generation Tiger Lake processors coupled with Iris XE graphics. The laptops run on Windows 10 Home out of the box and come with Bang and Olufsen speakers. Other key features include the presence of a fingerprint sensor and backlit keyboard on all the laptops. The laptop draws power from a 43WHR battery which coupled with a 65 watt charger can charge 50% of the battery in just 30 minutes. In terms of wireless connectivity, you get Wi-Fi. Thanks for watching the video guys. Bye bye.